to see actually you, Abdul Muki Chun MBE, member of uh, British Empire, actually uh, overseeing this this uh, meeting today. We're actually we're deciding on something very historically connected to our British identity, not only for East End, but only but for London, for UK, and also internationally. Um, I will quickly go into the points that I, I should raise uh, with the committee uh, and why uh, we should reject the proposal by Reykjavik, uh, Reykjavik Capital. The developer Reykjavik is proposing constructing a hotel on land at the rear of the foundry and using the listed foundry building as a cafe and workspaces. As you have seen, there is the actual foundry site and there is a site at the rear. This change of use of the foundry buildings cause, causes substantial harm as defined by the National Planning Policy Framework. The benefits that the developer claims the hotel will bring cannot be used to justify the harm done to the foundry itself. The foundry site and the foundry business within it comprise the listed building and the heritage assets. The developer, Historic England and Hamas Council all recognize that the conversion from a working foundry is harmful to the heritage asset. There is no justification for this substantial harm because A, the hotel can happen anyway. B, the foundry can continue as a working foundry. C, there is no evidence that this cannot happen since no marketing to find a company to continue the foundry use has been done. The planning argument put forward by Thomas <coughs> planning officers recommending approval of Reykjavik's application is fatally flawed. The UK Historic Building Preservation Trust scheme for the listed foundry buildings, working with Factum Foundation, delivers highly skilled artisan and contemporary jobs for the young of the borough and apprenticeships, just as UK HBPT have done in Stoke, one of the most deprived communities in this country, just like ours. They have done it in Stoke. This scheme does not preclude the construction of a hotel on the land at the rear of the foundry. There is overwhelming international and local support for the retention of a proper working foundry at Whitehall Bell Foundry. Stop this heritage vandalism and throw out this application. Tell the applicant to come back with a planning application for the land at the rear of the foundry only and sell the foundry to someone who will run this country's oldest business for the benefit of everyone. Thank you.